Welcome back, Faith Warriors of God. Faith Warrior Broderick checking back in with you. Today we're going to talk about the definition of miracles. The definition of miracle is God. God is the miracle. He is the performer of miracles. All miracles um, come from God. Just take a look at all the examples um, that we have in the Bible, uh, especially with Jesus Christ, the Son of God, how Jesus Christ um, performed so many miracles, uh, the 5,000 being fed. With just a few, just you know, just a few loaves of bread and just a couple of pieces of fish, and then we have the lame man that is that was able to walk, um, the blind man that was blind since birth was able to finally be able to see, um, the lunatic person that was crazy in the mind, uh, he became sane. I mean, all these different things, the water being turned into wine, a miracle, and then even when Jesus was walking on the water. I mean, those are just miracles. God is a God of miracles. I mean, think about um, Israel when they walked around the walls of Jericho. They walked around the wall um, seven times each day. And then on the seventh day, they walked around the wall seven times. And then the walls came crumbling down on the city of Jericho. Then they went in and took over the city. That's a miracle. And that is what God would do for you. He is ready to perform a miracle in your life. He is ready to perform a breakthrough in your life. Think about it. All the things that you go through, all the things that you encounter, the things that should cause you to fall and to stumble, God becomes a miracle in your life and he gives you the power to stand. Some of you probably can say this as well. It's a miracle that I'm still here today, right? Because it is. Think about that. That was the miracle that God had upon your life. Think about Israel when they was backed up against the, the Red Sea, right? And God performed the miracle again by, you know, you know, by his servant Moses. Um, they walked through the Red Sea. What about the manna that fell from the sky, right? What about the manna? What about the quails? That they ate. Think about all these miracles that has been taking place. Because the definition of miracle is God. God is a miracle. And God is ready to be a miracle in your life. If you just have faith in him. If you just believe and trust in him. And he will come through for you. Faith warrior. He will come through. Trust in God and believe in him. With every single thing that you got. And he will be by your side. He will comfort you when you feel like there is no comfort. He will be your miracle. I have plenty times when I have said, man, it's a miracle that I'm still here. Because of the mercy that God has shown. His mercy is a miracle for crying out loud. Think about that. His mercy is a miracle. It's like, for real, God, you having mercy on me? You going to forgive me? Wow, that's a miracle. Right? And you read the Bible, and you see how disobedient the children of Israel was. Because I'm in the Bible. I'm in the Old Testament right now studying. I'm in the book of Amos. And um, you see how rebellious Israel is, how they worship in idols and, and things like that. And God is ready to pronounce judgment upon them. But at the same time, he's saying, if they just return to me, I won't do any of these things. If they just return to me, that's a miracle that God is even willing to forgive you and to turn from pronouncing judgment upon you. That's a miracle, man. That's deep right there. That is deep. Let me tell you something. God is ready to perform a miracle in your life right now. Maybe you want a promotion on your job. Maybe that promotion will help your finances better, right? Maybe you feel like you underqualified and some of the other candidates is probably qualified for the job. And maybe you think that, hey, I might don't get it because this other person. But let me tell you something. God is for you. God will open up a door for you. You have the Lord on your side. If you have the Lord on your side, you can overcome any obstacle that you may be facing. Just take a look at David and Goliath. Goliath had his sword, right? He had his shield. You know, he had all those different things. He was taunting Israel. But David told him, you come with your sword, but I come in the name of the Lord. And it was a miracle that helped David defeat Goliath. And God is ready to help you defeat your Goliath. He is. He is. For God is a definition of miracles. Hallelujah. 
God wants to be your miracle. He wants to be your miracle. He wants to be your, your strength. He wants to be your, your comforter. That is what God wants to be. He wants to be the miracle in your life. He does. God has been a miracle to me. I am going through, me and my family is going through one of the darkest times that I have ever faced in my life. You know, Satan done told me to abandon God, to turn my back on God. Satan done told me that God don't love me because of this trying time. And I don't need to, I don't need to explain what this trying time is. Most of y'all already know already. You know, um, Satan wants me to turn my back on God, but I am determined to still believe in God, not to shipwreck my faith or to abandon my faith. I love the Lord. He's all I got. Who else do I have in heaven besides him? There's nobody on earth I desire more than I desire the Lord. Where else can I go? For God has the words of eternal life. For he is eternal life. As the deer thirsts for, for the water that flows down the river, so does my soul thirst for the Lord. When God says, seek my face, my Lord, my heart said, Lord, your face, I will seek. God has been a miracle in these trying times. He really has. I had a lot of dark moments for the past five months. I had a lot of dark moments. But God has given me strength to persevere, and I thank him for it. He has been a miracle in my life. He has. He has. When I should have thrown in the towel, when I should have went out there and started doing sinful activities in, in, in this dark time, God has said, I am with you. He has said, Roderick, I am with you. I'm with you, son. God said, I am with you. I will continue to be your miracle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love it in the book of Psalms when it says, when God said, because you have set your love upon me, I will deliver you. I will be with you in trouble. When you call, I will answer you. I will honor you. With long life, I will satisfy you. And I will show you my salvation. Hallelujah. God is the God of miracles. He is the God of miracles. God is ready to turn your sickness into healing. He is ready to turn your financial woes into prosperity. He is able to turn everything, whatever is negative in your life, he is ready to make it into a positive. God is a God of miracles. Things that seem impossible, God is ready to make them possible in your life. It don't matter how dark your life may be right now. We all facing something that is trying our faith. You better believe my faith is being tried. It is being tried daily. It is being tried. I am trying to, to trying and trying every day. Striving every day. Believing in God every day. Because Satan is talking every day. He wants me to turn my back on my God, on my Lord, on my Savior. But I will not turn my back on my Lord and on my Savior. I will trust in God with all of my heart. And I will not lean into my own understanding. In all of my ways I will acknowledge him. And he shall direct my path. Because greater is he that is in me than, e than that evil that is in the world. Because I will not be condemned. I will not go back on my Lord. I will not abandon my Lord. I will serve him with all of my heart, soul, and mind. You know why? Because God is my miracle. If you, had trans, if you have transgressed God's word, repent and believe in God and turn from your sins and follow Jesus. Let him become that miracle in your life. Hallelujah. It is time for God to help you in your battles. It is time for you to trust in God. Hallelujah. Put hold the whole armor of God. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Let him be the miracle in your life, faith warriors. Please. Please. We need God. We need our miracle. Hallelujah. We look up the word miracle in the dictionary. It ain't going to say God next to it. It's going to say something that's extraordinary. Um, it'll probably be something sent around, something that was impossible. 
but wasn't impossible. Something along those lines, you're going to see words like that um, in a dictionary. But let me tell you something. God is the miracle. He is the miracle. God is ready for you to knock on that door so he can open. God is ready for you to ask so that you can receive. God is ready for you to seek so that you can find. Oh, yes, he is. He's ready to perform that miracle for you right now, Faith Warrior. He is ready to perform it. You just got to believe and trust in him and be patient. Be patient. Be patient for the Lord. And God will hear your cry. He will attend unto your prayers. He will rescue you from your troubles. He will rescue you from your enemies. You may seem like you're sinking in quicksand, but God is ready to grab your hand and pull you up out of that quicksand. He is your miracle. He is your breakthrough of all addictions that are demon inspired. De addictions is demon inspired. God is ready to break up those those addictions and put you on a plain path of righteousness. God was able. He is ready and he is more than able to be your miracle. He is, he is able to help you conquer all of your demons, all of your mountains, all of your giants, all all of your wildernesses you may be walking in your desert hallelujah you may be walking down the valley of shadow of death but god is ready to be your miracle trusting god to be your miracle trusting god to be your salvation trusting god to be your grace god is ready to be your hero he is ready to be the miracle of your life it is your time for your miracle don't be discouraged don't be dismayed don't fret trust in god and he will see you through he will see you through faith warriors i love y'all with all i got everything that i have in me i love y'all please faith warriors stay with god don't turn your back on the lord don't turn your back on him. He's more than anything in the world. He's more precious than anything and anybody in this world. Having God is more important than anything. Keep that miracle in your life. Keep God in your life. Alrighty? I love y'all with all my heart, soul, and mind. Until next time, faith warriors. Until next time, let's continue to fight the good fight of faith. And let us lay hold on to eternal life. Jesus forever. Bye-bye.